Hello Frugal fans, once again this is Captain Frugal and I'm reviewing my stash to save you cash and today I'll be reviewing the Superior Foes of Spider-Man issue 14. Alright, now let's take a look at issue number 14. Once again, this is written by Nick Spencer and the artist is Steve Lieber. So once again, we have that dynamic duo. Uh, this issue number 14 can be found as a back issue or you can still buy it digitally or buy it in the second trade paperback for the series. All right, so let's dive in. This issue starts at the safe house. If you recall last issue, Shocker beat the rest of the crew there, but he was hiding because he heard a noise and then hears them come in. So this issue starts there at the safe house, and Beetle goes to the bathroom, <laughs> where Silvermane and the Shocker are currently hiding. And, of course, the pervert Silvermane is watching while the Beetle does her business. Meanwhile, Fred gets Overdrive to tell us about his origin as a villain. Overdrive's father wanted him to be a race car driver. But he wanted to be a superhero. After failed attempts to get superpowers, Overdrive ended up being a race car driver. But after a car crash, he was approached by Mr. Negative and given nanites that gave him his powers. He then uh, thought he could start as a villain to get the respect and then turn good. Now, then Overdrive tells the guys about what happened with the school bus incident. Overdrive and the Beetle were waiting for Fred when suddenly Mr. Negative's ninjas jumped on his car and attacked. And Overdrive took off. If you remember, Overdrive owes him money because of that, giving the nanites for the power. After some amazing getaway driving, they lost the ninjas, and then they stopped. Eventually, as we see, though, this revved up the beetle sexually. After some disappointing sex, though, from the be uh, on the beetle's end from Overdrive, because Overdrive evidently didn't perform too well, <laughs> the ninjas found them again. Unfortunately, we find out, though, that after Overdrive finishes a race, he has to uh, recharge his powers again, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so once he's spent, he has to wait a while. So Beetle and Overdrive go, get out and run because he can't soup off the car because he just finished another kind of race, disappointingly. And the be on the run, the Beetle's wings get shot as well. Now running, they do find the bus, and it had school kids on it, and they take that as a getaway. But unfortunately, Overdrive's powers are still not up to task. Well, the Beetle whispers something in his ear, I'm guessing it's some kind of sexual promise, and boom, Overdrive's powers are back in full force, and the bus takes off like a rocket. A lot of sexual innuendo there, if you will. Next, we cut to what the Speed Demon has been up to. He has been visiting a lawyer to sue Iron Fist for the injury that he received when they were busted uh, by him and Iron Fist. If you recall, that was an earlier issue when Boomerang, a.k.a. Fred, uh, sort of tried to get even with them for kicking him out, so he gave the information to Mach 7, and Mach 7 contacted them. They broke in and caught them all. And then he, later on, Fred saved them and you know broke them free to gain face. So we also see that the lawyer gave him uh, a paper with a $100 reward to return the dog that he stole. So you can see at this point that Speed Demon's grown quite fond of the dog, and he has a hard time returning him, but he did do it. Fred then goes on telling how big of a loser Shocker was while they're in that room. And, you know, the whole time you have to remember, the Shocker is here and he's hiding in the bathroom. So he gets pissed off. Shocker gets pissed, then blasts all of them and declares that he is the new boss. And that's the end of this issue. So with that said, let's take a moment and look at some of the pros and cons. First, the pros. This is a great story. The story, once again, has great story progression. The characterization in this book is amazing. How you can take a list of C and D list, maybe even lower uh, villains, and turn them into such an interesting story is just amazing. I think this is a clinic on how maybe some other writers ought to pay attention to how to make a character grow. Uh, Speed, Team and, uh, Speed Demon returning the dog was both sad and funny at the same time. And the beetle giving the ninjas the finger in the book, too, was just great. <laughs> I mean, these things you just got to see for yourself. And Shocker blasting everyone. All right, it's about time for a little bit of payback time. So let's look at the cons. Well, as I've said on some other evaluations of these books and reviews, this book, I cannot see any cons except for the book ended. So with that said, let's jump into the grade. Overall grade of this book, I cannot give it anything other than an A. And just to repeat a little bit about what I said in my last review, if you've been putting off this book because the title Superior, because everything with the Superior turned you off because the whole situation with Spider-Man and how Dan Slott's online behavior was absolutely atrocious, I would recommend checking this book out. He really has nothing to do with this book, and this book is absolutely fantastic. So don't let your negative views on possibly other things taint you on this book. It's sad this book didn't get enough sales and numbers, but is definitely worth a read, and maybe with enough push and fan reaction, this book might get started again. All right, with that said and done, until next time.
Thanks again, Frugal fans. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please check out more reviews at thehenchmanslounge.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Captain Frugal.